talk back, you can talk to them in the booth, and I can reach out to them. Happy New Year from sunny Myrtle Beach, Doug Shaw Stadium. We're here for the 2011 Offense Defense Sports Youth All-American Bowl. It's an East versus West competition. Game number five of eight games that we'll be playing at Doug Shaw Stadium today. And we're getting ready for the national anthem. Shaw Stadium in sunny Myrtle Beach where we're here for the 2011 Offense Defense Sports Youth All-American Tournament. Definitely want to give a shout out to the head coaches uh, from both East and West teams and uh, that's Brian Mabry and Will Bratcher. Uh, both coached on the East and West squads uh, and are doing great respectively today. We're inside our fifth game right now in beautiful Myrtle Beach. And uh, we've got uh, three more to go after this. It's 2.03 Eastern Standard Time for my West Coast folks. Thank you so much for joining us. And we hope you're enjoying the broadcast over the internet stream on uh, o-d.com as we get ready for the first play from the West team at their 35. And there's a snap, handoff to number 11. Nice run, picks up about five to six yards. Make that six yards right there, number 11. And that is uh, Devoris Thomas. All right, nice run, young man. It's fun to watch these kids, ages 7 to 14, as the day goes by, progressively get bigger, stronger, and faster. Absolutely. And, it, you know, I mean, I, I see so many professional moves. <laughs> it's you know, I mean, these, it's, it's, it's like looking at little pros. It is. You know, miniature professionals. I agree. Second and four. Make that three. There's a fumble. Okay. Let's see who recovers. Okay, Wes recovered the ball. 
didn't lose that much of the yardage, if any. Look at the size of these players. <laughs> as we move up in ages, yep. it's, it's obvious. It's a, a, an obvious climb as we're moving from the uh, 7 and 8, uh, 9 and 10, and yep. 11 and 12 year olds. Yep. Kids are getting bigger and bigger every year. Must be something in the chicken. That's what they say anyway. Here we go. Third down and about two and a half. About two. We'll just say a solid two. Third and two. Number 11, divorce Thomas. Shotgun position. Another bad snap. We've seen that recovered. Yeah, we've seen that repeatedly. Played by both teams, the long snap. <clears throat> And we'll see if the West wants to uh, take on this fourth down or pass. I think they're going to take it. They're foregoing the option of, of taking the yardage to maintain the possession. Brings up fourth and long. Yeah, fourth and about five. This looks like the West Coast has a little bit of confidence on this one here. It's neat to see the different players with their helmets from across the nation. Yeah, it is, right? All right, at the 41, fourth and four. Number three, Carson right. Marks under the snap. Let's see where this call's going to go. Ah, all right. Defense, offsides. First down. First down west. Well, that worked out well. At the 45 right now as we get the uh, fifth game underway. And first, first down of the game. Yep. Now, unfortunately, we don't have a named roster for the east team, so we'll just have to call out numbers. But uh, we do have the west. And you hate that. You want to recognize these athletes who have come from all over the country to participate Absolutely. in the second annual Youth All-American Game. Zach. Big defensive play. Yep. And who was that on the sack? That was number 80. Turnover. Nice job. Now the tide changed quickly. East at the 40. Nice play on defense. We have seen some great defense today. Yeah, we have. We have, absolutely. And the coaches, they're just as excited about coaching yeah, in this game as they are, you know, their, their uh, home teams. Yep, that's right. They want to win, too. All right. For the first time, the East team hits the field. Look at the size of those linemen. Look at number 67. <laughs> that's a big kid right there. He's going to clear things out, trust me. He's playing tackle. Size. Let's watch his side. He's on the, uh, the right side. Wow. Ooh. Wow. Nice. Nice hit. That's number uh, number 14, Carson Faust yep. for the west side. <laughs> Team West coached by Brian Mabry. <laughs> We do 35-minute halves as opposed to 15-minute quarters, so we have two halves in the game. Second and about 15 for the East. Shotgun position in the wishbone. Here's a snap. It's a pass out to the side. Caught by number 35. Stiff arms. Gets a couple of yards. Nice run. And back to the original line of scrimmage. Third and nine on what is the East's, East squad's first possession after a fumble recovery. Yep. On the 39, set up in an I formation. All right, here's the play. Up the middle, number three. Nice. Gets stuck, though, at about uh, the th 39. Nice pickup. Make that the 29. 
Plays him with fourth and four. About four. Down about four. Let's see what the coach says here. They're going for it. They need to go for it. All right, fourth and four. Shotgun position. Here comes the snap. Quarterback fades back, number 14, passes off, interception. The receiver slipped. And the DB capitalized on that. Nice interception. West ball right now at 28-42 uh, on the clock. As we're getting things started in the first half of our fifth game of eight. And uh, going down today here at Myrtle Beach, Pick Doug off. Shaw Stadium. Excuse me, Doug. He picked off by number 59, Miles Doff. The, nice. The uh, size differences between some of these players is, is incredible. Yeah, it really is. Yet to score. Another bad snap. Still struggling with that. They have a flag down as well. Still struggling with the long snaps. Yeah. But again, that's why they're playing now, so they can perfect their uh, their techniques. And we're looking at another uh, first and five opportunity for the West now. Still scoreless. Shotgun position. Nope. Okay, go back to a, uh, there's a snap. Nice lead in. Wow. Number 32, Antonio Hurd on the carry. And a great tackle by, I believe, number 22. Loss of maybe one. Let's check the replay on that. 52. There we go. Comes out of nowhere. Gotcha. Gobble, gobble. The size of these athletes. Yep. I hope this is 11 and 12 year olds. <laughs> Second and about six. Here's a snap. And the handoff. Botched. Great defense from the East. Lost about two yards on that one. And we're at a, uh, say a good third and eight. Third and seven. 26 minutes on the clock. With the size of these linemen, it makes you wonder yeah. if the size on the defense is going to be a big factor in today's game. Yeah. Yeah, the East has a couple of big boys, no doubt about that. Yet to see anyone break, break out and uh, yeah. show the speed. There we go, there's one, nice one. Number 36, Anthony Barker. We're at another fourth and one or two situation here for the West team. Let's see how they decide to play this one out. I think they're going for it. Shout out to Rick Whittier, see him on the field. Offense, defense, vice president. Sorry, make that Matt Whittier. And they have decided to, uh, well, forgo that fourth, unless it's a timeout. Did we see a timeout being called? I think it's a timeout. Speed timeout. Yeah, timeout, okay. It will be interesting. 
So this is a culmination of, uh, of all the activities over the past year with offense, defense, the players, the coaches all coming together. Bowl week started Monday with check-ins and practices started up uh, the next day and throughout the week. Uh, a week full of festivities and practices and eating and outings. Uh, it's been so positive. And it, uh, the week started off pretty chilly, but we've warmed up to uh, uh, the typical subtropical weather of uh, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina on this New Year's Day. Welcome to 2011. Dougie Styles along with JD calling the game today. Happy New Year to you. Happy New Year. It looks like they don't get the, uh, the first down on fourth. The East has the ball at about their 37-yard line. Turnover on downs. And they're in a pretty good scoring position right now. Let's see if they can capitalize on the uh, great defensive performance. It's been a great day of football so far. It really has. I mean, earlier on today, uh, very, very offense-driven games uh, with the West taking the first and then the next two games taken by the East. And now we're pretty much evened up 2-2. West Coast teams uh, coming back. Here we go. First and 10 at the 38. Wishbone. Nice toss there. Good uh, defensive good defensive work there. But again, the guys are just getting warmed up. It's the first couple of times actually getting in the game. So I believe uh, things will be heating up shortly. Number 24 on the play, Daryl Wilson. Shout out to Hooters as well as Thornies and a number of other sponsors, Gatorade, Zenith. Badger Sports. Badger Sports. Their apparel. Making it happen for us. That are the local sponsors participating in the Youth All-American Tournament this year. Yep. Planet Hollywood, yeah. Margaritaville, Medieval Times. Mm -hmm. A few ultimate California pizza. Thornies. Right. Grateful for all of the sponsors. Thanks, Hooters, for the chicken wings. And the families for making the drive and, and flight uh, when the, the weather at the beginning of the week was you know, so kind cold. Of scary, so it? delays, yes. Yeah. And it, uh, it's turned out perfect. Hundreds of families participating in this second annual Youth All-American Tournament. Yeah. Here we go, third and about nine. Get to see a score this afternoon. From the 11 and 12 year olds. All right, here's the play. Nice up the middle, cuts on the outside, and I believe we have a first down. Good job. I believe that's the East's nice first run. first Good down, isn't it? it? Yep, I believe so. And they've had good fit position. Yes, they have. Really sparks the, the fans and uh, families to see these kids score. Yeah. We've had to, we, we have seen some, some great defensive stances. Here we go. At the 32, first and 10. Quarterback sets up and he's got a man open, but he's already down. Nice uh, catch gain of about a yard or two. Yeah. That's number 35. Again, we're without the names, unfortunately, for the East team. No disrespect to any of the kids or the parents. I'd like to honor those players. Absolutely. Not only the athletes, but the families that are supportive yep. of making sure these athletes get to participate. Excuse me, I'm sorry. What's up? Second and ten, second and nine. Second and nine, yes sir. In the shotgun position. Here's a snap, and there's a toss. Ooh, nice defense. Nice grab. That's number 80. There, tall guy. Thomas Dalton, I believe. Yeah. Thomas, Thomas Dalton on the stop. Thomas Tall Dalton. Press 
massive size on the line. You know? Toss, he's wide open, number 35, he jukes, goes to the outside, turns the corner, and gets stuck at around the throw. Yellow block. Nice play. Nice run pick up on the box. I'd say a good 20 yards, 15 to 20 yards, for a first down for the East. And I believe they are the first team to seriously threaten Look at that. Defense for Two defensive linemen making the stop downfield. Look at that. Where were the DBs? Uh, I think I've got Looking at uh, first and goal at the eight. There's the snap. Here's the toss up in the air. Oh, he had an interception as the number 35 took to the ground. Slipped. Incomplete pass. Number 13, Brady. Second and goal. Brady Tongs. Brody. Brody number 13. Brody Jones. Brody You're right Jones. on that one. <laughs> Brody Jones. The first real threat of scoring in this game. Yep. Second and goal from the eight. Let's see if the East can take it in. Shotgun position, and here comes the snap. Quarterback fades back, finds an opening on the inside, hits the tight end in the middle for a gain of five. Ace is throwing the ball. Yeah. Third and goal at the three. Everything you got, let's go. <laughs> Fans continue to pour into yeah. Doug Shaw Stadium here and been consistent all day. Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Host of the second annual youth All-American Tournament by OD Sports. And it's nice to know we got a good day too, so. Been pretty chilly all week. Timeout being called right now. as the teams regroup. I can't wait till next year already. It's been a fantastic week of football events on and off the field. Yep. And we had a chance to talk with a lot of the youth last night. Uh, the nine-year-old girl from Maryland. I believe her name is Malaya. I think we've seen her play. We may have caught her early. I didn't particularly see her on the rosters, but uh, just to see what she does today. What a fantastic story. Absolutely. She's been playing football since the age of five. She's a running back. She says what she enjoys most about playing is being the leader and having to tell everybody what to do. <laughs> I thought that was pretty cool. <laughs> and uh, one of uh, four siblings. Yeah. Uh, two, I believe two brothers and two sisters also made the trip to watch her participate. Yeah, single mom. And it was neat to see her being the All-American selection. Yeah, that was nice. Okay, you got him. All right, looks like we have an offside on the offense team. Takes it back five yards. Now we're at uh, third and goal at the eight-yard line as the uh, East team tries to put the first points on the board at 15.50 in the game, first half. Been successful in this series, excuse me. Been successful in this series with the pass. If I go back to the pass, try to get the score. Let's see what happens. There's the hike and the handoff. See if he can round that corner. The size is just a 13. That's a big kid. 13, Chris. 
Baker. Chris Baker on the stop. It's like he ran into an elevator door. Got in the backfield quick. <laughs> yeah. Looks like fourth and about ten. Yep. Go for it. Fourth and ten. Here comes the snap. And they're going for the pass. There it is. Up and over. He's open. Oh, intercepted. Oh, and he's going. Nice run by number 37. That's Dylan Skaggs. Dylan Skaggs. Nice run back out of the end zone. Absolutely. Nice play. Nice play. I like that. Good job. That's so much for scoring. There it is. <laughs> That's so much for scoring. Still goose eggs on the board at 14 19. 14 minutes left until uh, our halftime ceremonies. And again, we play two halves as opposed to uh, four 15 minute quarters. And we're inside the Myrtle Beach High School complex. And if you could take a look around, if you had an aerial view like we have here, uh, tremendous playing field, beautiful stadium. Uh, they're playing on all Astro turf. Do we still use the term Astro turf, or do they just call it turf now? I guess you can tell them from the old school. I do not know that. <laughs> I do not. But it's a beautiful complex where uh, most of the uh, elite and high school players have been practicing all week long. So this is a heck of a feeling for, for youth All-Americans to play on a field like this. You yes. know what I mean? And we're grateful to the city of Myrtle Beach who maintains so much. this field. Yep, yep. And allowing us to uh, to come in and, and, and use their their property during our week. It's nice to have the support of the city, businesses. Yep. Shout out to Mayor Rhodes. Second and about 14. Shotgun. Here's the snap. Fades back. Passes off. Uh oh. Wow. Nice catch. Nice catch. Nice catch. Gain of a few yards, but it's a gallant effort. We've called the Voris Thomas number. Yep, by number 11. I didn't expect that. Didn't expect him to, to, to even be close. No, didn't think it was going to go down like that. Twelve minutes left in the first half. Game number five of eight. Yep. Halfway through the day. Here's the snap and the pitch. There's that size. So confusing, too. And once the offense on that play it just didn't seem to come together. The size so far has prevailed. Yes, it has. Elected to take the yardage, which I think is a smart move. Considering they were first in goal inside the 10. Yeah, how quick how quickly things change. I see the parents putting the sunglasses on as uh, we continue to see some sunshine and clouds uh, here at Myrtle Beach. Lovely. Probably close to 70 degrees right now. That's our expected high. Happy New Year's, everybody, and welcome to the Web Street broadcast of OD Sports. We appreciate you being online, checking out the game. Shout out to all the West Coast family uh, who couldn't make it out here to uh, enjoy and see their young play some football in this All American Bowl tournament. Nice pitch to number 81 on the outside. 57, that is. I'm sorry. We believe he gets back to the scrimmage line. 
second down on the way. And shout out to Gatorade as well. Another sponsor. Comcast doing a great job. Absolutely. Big shout out to Comcast and CSS. Based out of Atlanta, I heard this morning. I thought they were based out of DC, but I guess I was wrong. Happy to have them here. Absolutely. Thanks for the pizza earlier, guys. All right, we're at second and about 10. Shotgun position, here comes a snap. It's a fake play action. Quarterback number 27 tries to turn the corner, doesn't quite make it, loses about a yard. Third and 11. Chris Barker on the tackle again. Less than 10 minutes left in the game for the first half. Game number five with three more ahead of us. Still scoreless. Yep, nothing, 0-0, zero, zero. goose eggs. Snake eyes. As we look over to the practice field to our right, we see uh, the next line of uh, youth All-Americans get warmed up. Stretching. You keep waiting for that breakout play. Yep, the one that's gonna give them that little boost of confidence. Nice handoff up the middle, number 23. He gains about three yards on the carry. Not enough for a first down, so the East is facing another fourth down situation at the 39-yard line. And we're gonna see how they're gonna decide what their smartest choice will be right now. We're at about the eight minute mark of the first half. I haven't given a shout out to the Midwest or Southwest family, so let's do that as well. For those that are watching the telecast or the, uh, the webcast right now, uh, my Midwest folks from Ohio and uh, Missouri, Kansas, as well as those coming from Arizona, Texas, other areas. Nice play action fake by the quarterback, get rid of it, but oh, ooh, gosh, the defense was on him like a swarm of bees on honey. Wasn't the smartest move for the West team as they uh, relinquished the ball control to the East. Brandon Drake on the tackle, and they're in scoring position too right now with the East. And Carson Faust. See if they'll be able to pick up six. Here we go. The clock, clock keeps ticking at about 6.50. All right, here we go. West with the ball on the 40. That's the second play. The 39, Blake. Levy taking the snap. Give a big shout out to my man Mikey over here. What's Mikey up, man? two in the broadcast booth, aka Mikey Tongue. Appreciate all the love this week, man. Happy New Year. He's part of the OD family. Helps keep all the uh, all the elements going. I like to call him Earth, Wind, and Fire. Here's a snap on second down. Nice fake, but two big moves to number 80. Getting full number 80. <laughs> he was on it. Nice. Loss of about five, four to five. Number 11, DeBoris Thomas on the carry. So we're looking at third and about 20 for the West. Only seen a couple of first downs. And uh, we haven't seen much quarterback action from the West 
toward East so far in the game. Lots of great defensive action. Past two games, the first half's been almost all defense. And we're still scoreless at 5-11 on the clock. Oh, having problems with the side. Oh, oh, and recover. Nice play. Defensively, he's always fall on the ball. Never try to nice hustle. I can guarantee you his coach is going to be in his ear. Fall on the ball, son. He tried to pick it up. Blake Levy on the fumble. All right. East has an opportunity to take advantage of that West mistake. First and 10. See if they can capitalize on it. With about 425 left. As we head towards halftime. Game five of eight. Youth All-American Offense Defense Tournament. This New Year's Day, 2011, Myrtle Beach. There's a snap. And the handoff. Great defensive play today. Number 55 on the tackle. Jahan Jack. Jack Jahan. I'm glad you, you were able to I think make that out. I think that's Jack Jahan. <laughs> Jack. Second and 12. Looks like a pass. Here we go. Ah, I don't think he was ready for it. That's number uh, 35. Top youth all Americans putting it down here in Myrtle Beach. Third and 12. Still dominated by the defense. Yep, yep. And here comes the snap. I formation. Tries to go up the middle. Nothing. Number eight, as well as number 14 on the tackle, Carson Faust. The size of the line is dominating. Yep. Don't see any particular standout so far, offense or defense wise, but uh, the team seems solid. Looks solid. Evenly matched. Not to be said by Coach Artie Gigantino putting together these teams, matching them up. Absolutely. Age and skill. From the shotgun position once again. Fourth and 12. There's a snap. Here comes the rush. Quarterback 14, he loses. Can he get rid of it? Oh. As he's going down. He gets rid of it, but to much no. dismay. Wow. Incomplete pass. 136 left in the first down. half. Sorry about that. Sorry, Dave. No, I'm sorry. And uh, still no score. Scoreless. First half. Let's see if the West can pull off a. A score in the last minute of this uh, first half. Stacked I formation. Number three, Carson Marks under center. Uh, he gets around the corner for about three or four yards. Nice run. 32, Antonio Hurd. On the carry. Coming down to the last minute of the first half. Not a lot of urgency out there. Not much. Glad to be. 
be with you in this. New Year's Day, 2011. Yep, yep. Running down the first half of game number five of OD Sports Youth All-American Bowl. Second and seven, and another quarterback sack. Game five. That ends the first half of game five of eight, 2011. Offense, defense, sports, 2011, OPL Bowl. Happy New Year. Thank you for being with us. Okay, we'll be back momentarily with the second half. You have it locked in to o-d.com, Offense, defense, youth, All-American Bowl. Defense football camps ages 7 to 17. Over 40 plus locations across the nation. Join us this summer and learn the skills necessary to dominate the gridiron. Offense defense football camps. The oldest and best contact camps in the country. OD.com We can wear anything we want, but we choose to wear OD. And if you're in it to win it, you'll wear OD. Check this out at OD.com. That's O-D.com. And moms, we've got you covered too.